For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. That's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. If you want to join the uh, WhatsApp group, the link is given below in the description. Click on the link and join the WhatsApp group for connecting with more technical people. We are going to monitor the any external website status from the Nagios. So how we are going to monitor here and uh, what is the plugins it is used. So let's see this uh, in this session. So if you wanted to monitor any website status, so there is a plugin called check underscore HTTP. You have to use it. So that is by default available along with the plugins, whatever you install. Uh, when you install the plugins it will be available here you can see that so here is the plugin you can see check underscore http is available here so that is the plugin we are going to utilize uh, and i'm just going to objects folder and edit the commands.cfg file here and come all the way down and i'm just going to add this command here so what i'm going to do is that define the command and the command name let's say that check underscore website let's say and the command line and the user one dollar so i'm going to specify check underscore http and the iphon h is for the host address and dollar argument one okay this is the command i have to specify here the command is specified now let's get back to the servers folder here and what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create the new folder sorry new file which is going to be a arkit.co.in.cog file so I'm going to monitor the arkit.co.in website uh, in this one of the web page I would like to monitor here so now let's define the host first okay now what i'm going to do is that let's say host definition now define host use use the template any template you can use it so here i'm using the windows take care okay, id template and say that host name arkit.co.in and alias I say that arkit's website and uh, address address is also a arkit.co.in since we are monitoring the website URL so it should be uh, similar contacts the contact name and the contact groups admins and close this bracket and services here I'm just going to add the service define service and use one of the service template here so in this case I'm going to use service dash tech ARKIT and service underscore description. We can just hit the tab here. Service description say what service you would like to monitor. Let's say that ARKIT.co.in web page status, or maybe here I just uh, add the uh, host name before that so that it would be unique and uh, the host name is arkit.co.in and uh, command so what is the command we have to use here check underscore command check underscore website so that is the one we have to use and here we have the options uh, in order to get this so r is the keyword example say that which site you would like to monitor so here I'm just going to see that arkit.co.in website 
uh, in this maybe I just go to mounting tool something like this pick up um, any web page from here okay so maybe I just go to this here web inject and uh, what I'm going to do is that from here I'm just going to pick any of the uh, keyword example the web pages web inject so the keyword here you have to paste it here so if the keyword is not present then it gives the error so I is for the uh, name of the site and iPhone you you have to provide the URL value within this slash okay so the URL value is this one from here to here copy this value and paste it here and uh, if you need redirects so you can just say that follow and it is under SSL so it is a HTTPS site so that's why I say that it's a SSL enabled and uh, contacts and contacts group now that is done so that is a web page status where it will monitor the web page status web page is available and the content and the website is okay then it says that the website is working fine okay and one more thing I'm just going to define one more service here so I say that check web page content explicitly verify the content so if the content is not available then it gives the error so here I'm just going to use the string value and the string value is web inject in this case and here also I, I have to provide almost uh, equivalent permission equivalent values here so I an I ARKID URL and the follow SSL certificate here so the only change is that we are going to use the string value and monitoring the string value particular to that website okay I'm going to define one more service here so which is going to be a website status this is not related to the any page so but uh, it's just in a status of the website so here I'm just say that web page and iPhone yeah follow and iPhone I air dot co dot in and iPhone SSL so I'm not going to do any web web page monitoring here I just uh, directly monitoring the website status here okay that's the uh, idea maybe here you can instead of any URL you can just give a slash for uh, looking at the root site okay now let's save this file and say verify Nagios okay it says that at the line 9 the objects properties is not right okay so there is a spelling mistake it's a groups it's not a groups okay let's replace this value here contact groups now it's corrected let's save and again right run the verify okay it looks good now restart the services let's System CTL restart Nagios. Okay, so now I looks good and jump to the web page here and just refresh it here. You can see the arkit.co.in and checks. You can see website status, web page status, and check the web content. You can see that. So it says that the host is up and running. And it will take a few minutes to run but I say run it immediately I just execute few commands so that its schedule will be checked immediately and maybe it takes a few minutes maybe one two minutes you can see that the web page status 
is working fine you can see all website is working fine so let's see uh, maybe we can change uh, any of the thing is that let's change the content value here so where the web inject one is not available but I am trying to do that vi slash usr local nachos etc servers arkt.co.in so in this particular to the web page content check so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to manipulate this one so there is no web web inject underscore one but I'm trying to check that whether it is working fine or not so now restart it and services and just go to the web page content check and reschedule the check immediately and let's see what happens here you can see here web status content check is modified you can see now the string web content one the web inject one not found on this page so it sends the error so now it is in soft state so it which means that it does not send the alert but whenever the three attempts is completed it becomes a hard state then it sends the alert so that's the website status monitoring content monitoring on the website so that would be very very useful for particularly looking at the website page and the keywords that's about website monitoring that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses if you want to join the uh, whatsapp group the link is given below on the description click on the link and join the whatsapp group for connecting with more technical people